in the now cult <laughs> classic Grease 2. <laughs> To tell us why he's returned to the film 42 years on, please welcome Maxwell Colfield. Hello, how are you? I got all emotional. Oh. <laughs> Before, before and after. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, we just mentioned that you're here to celebrate. It's, it's Cool Rider, it's called, isn't it? Indeed, yeah. yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's a tribute to, uh, show that's uh, uh, based, obviously, on, on the original film, uh, the sequel to Grease, the smash hit musical. And uh, over time, uh, Grease 2 has, I think, possibly drawn neck and neck into the popularity sticks, mm, mm. certainly in this country. And how much, you, cult, oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, yeah. sorry. how much of a cult has it become? Oh, it's really bizarre. I mean, it's uh, apparently the show we're doing on Sunday at the London Palladium is uh, going to be on a sort of a, on a, a, a par with that sort of zeal that people g feel for uh, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yeah. Mm. So a lot of talking back from the audience. I'm yeah. going to be ready for that. <laughs> and um, do you... did? Are you shocked that all this time later it's still going on? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I certainly am. Uh, but uh, it's nice to have made a film that stood the test of time, mm. you know? Mm. But you feel it was fate that you uh, got into the Grease 2 after meeting John Travolta himself, accidentally uh, on purpose? Well, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, did, I did find, that when I did the screen test that I, uh, at Paramount Studios, that I was actually wearing the jacket he'd worn in the movie. So I thought maybe the fix was it. And you <laughs> met him two years prior to... Uh, yeah, to yes. Uh, usher. <clears throat> oh, that's very true. Uh, uh, well, I, I was a movie <laughs> usher, a movie usher at the Leicester Square Odeon when the Saturday Night Fever premiered. Yeah. And um, it was a big deal. Um, and the Klieg lights was raking the skies and uh, white Rolls Royces were coming up and dispatching the Bee Gees. And, then, and, and, the, and the square, Leicester Square, was packed mm. with, with screaming girls. And, and, of course, they were building up for John Travolta's rival. Now, nobody knew John Travolta. His TV show, Welcome Back, Cotter, hadn't it, it aired yet in the, in the UK. But Saturday Night Fever had come out, and it was obviously a sensation. And he was almost like not a star, he was a planet. And I, I remember just, <laughs> like, standing there amidst all these sort of Beatlemania-style uh, excited girls and thinking, oh, that's, that's where it's at, man. That's, that's, why, that's the pinnacle. <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, about four years later, I, I, I lucked into the, uh, you know, the role of, uh, of uh, the cool rider in... Uh, um, uh, his, the sequel to his no less a smash hit uh, follow-up to yeah. Saturday Night Fever. Mm. So, uh, yeah, there was a little bit of fate in that. <laughs> no, how, no, no. How do you find all your roles? Because, like, obviously, it's coming up 40 years of, was it, Dynasty? Uh, uh, Kobe's? Kobe's? Yeah. And obviously doing the stage <laughs> production. How do you find, sort of, um, your uh, life within those roles? I thought you were going to say, how do I find my next job? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you <laughs> A never-ending quest. Um, uh, how do I find it? Is it a bit it? of nostalgia? Yo, with... Definitely, definitely a, a stroll down memory lane. I'm, the irony of it is I'm playing uh, Mr Stewart, the biology teacher. And, uh, do those you mean the you... older person? Yeah, yeah indeed, indeed. <laughs> uh, in fact, I'm lucky I'm not playing a character called Mr Spears, who's actually like sort of the cross-eyed math teacher who's an alcoholic. <laughs> Uh, but I am playing the biology teacher who leads the song Reproduction, which is a wonderful hormonally charged uh, number. And um, the kids end up usurping my class, uh, even though I started on a very strict, uh, you know, lines. Uh, and it becomes practically a sort of flaming orgy in the classroom. <laughs> and, um, but Tab Hunter, the, one, the, the, uh, the, the movie star from the 50s, a uh, very, very successful actor and very beloved, uh, in, in America, he he played the role, and I'm now I now discover I looked it up recently. I'm ten years older than Tab was when he played Mr. Stewart. Wow! So uh, you know the uh, I'm afraid I'm not able to turn back the hands of time. Well, do you know but, what I want to ask <laughs> yeah. about, though, Colin? The shoulder pads, because you mentioned them earlier on. Oh, I didn't now, see. The shoulder pads haven't disappeared for me since the 60s, because I'm right-shouldered. 
and I stick them with double-sided tape and they go from jacket to jacket every single day. <laughs> but how would the glamorous people in Hollywood, with well, Dynasty uh, and well, Kobe's. Yeah. And... Well, uh, actually, it's a wonderful... You've cued me in perfectly to tell you that I'm actually thinking that there's a very good chance uh, that uh, uh, a, a fellow dame of yours, uh, Joan Collins, is, has expressed interest in coming to see it on Sunday. Oh. And she is known as the queen of the yeah, shoulder yeah, pads, yeah, let's yeah. face it. So, uh, and she's part of my own coterie of women that it would be potential women who have said they would like to come and see it. Uh, my wife, uh, I, I pretty much think I can count on Juliet Mills yeah. showing up. <laughs> and if I'm lucky, her sister Haley will come too. And then Susie Blake, a very funny actress who's their cousin. And then um, uh, uh, Evie Brickus, Leslie Brickus. Evie Brickus, yeah, the beautiful for, former Yvonne Romaine. She yes. sings that she wants to come and see it. Oh, so, oh, uh, so you're going to be no, surprised. Yeah, okay. I, I, yeah. <laughs> but it's amazing because you've gone. You know, from Greece too, and then we remember you so well in Dynasty and the Colbys, and that was so glamorous mm. and very Hollywood and the clothes mm -hmm. and mm. all of those things. And then you end up in the Dales in Yorkshire. <laughs> right. <laughs> and uh, it you... talk about varied. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's... No, but I was playing re uh, playing the rich guy living in the, that doomed mansion, <laughs> right? <laughs> Home farm. And you were uh, a love rat. Yeah. If I remember that, well, that, that <laughs> clip that you showed it reminds me of a review I got. I saw as I was on the plane going home back to Southern California. It was a, a national review of Mark, the death of Mark Wilde. It was so they were trying to build it up, like <laughs> J, who, who shot JFK? Oh, I mean, uh, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, JR. JR. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus, Thank we, you. Yeah, all actually, that still yeah. remains a very big mystery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who shot JFK? But uh, no, JR. Uh, and they, but the the newspaper review. I thought, wow, they're reviewing my demise. And the guy said. Caulfield stood there as stiff as a board between those two women, <laughs> you know, Amanda and, and, and yeah. Kim, the, the two beautiful actresses I was, I was working with at the time. And, but they had me dead to rights. I mean, I was playing a bigamist, right? Yeah. So <laughs> I was like, well, what do you do? I mean, being caught <laughs> yeah, totally red-handed. <laughs> so I just sort of, and they didn't give me the dialogue, the sort of the clever, you know, do you know what, comebacks. Though, you mentioned your wife, Juliet, and yes. we should say that Sir John Mills, of course, his two daughters are Haley and Juliet. Mm -hmm. And you've been married, what, 44 years? It's coming up for it, I believe, yeah. That's wow. amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. You don't look old enough. Uh, yeah, thank wow. you. Well, uh, actually, funnily uh, enough, that she's, the, she, I, I, she's the one that keeps me young. Oh. Uh, she really. I mean, I actually... Uh, it's like there's sort of a reverse process going on. It's kind of spooky. I'm going, <laughs> slow, slow down, will you? <laughs> I don't mean in the age department either. Congratulations uh, on your upcoming birthday. Oh, thank uh, you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just lucky I to be say, here. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> uh, can I, I mean, just say, Matt, it's yes. always such a pleasure to have you here. Thank and you, to, um, thank, you. thank you so much for coming. Good luck. Thank you. With the Cool Rider, and it celebrates its 10th anniversary. It's a concert on April the 14th at the London Palladium. Sweet. And everyone's yeah. going by the sounds of it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.